was the better fighter. Now this man is Sam Schild. Two meters, 11 centimeters, tall, strong, a man who is a professional ring fighter in Pride. Pride, the huge and big Japanese organization for pro mixed martial arts. And then again, this opponent, Bob Schreiber, with his characteristic way of entering the ring. Accompanied by friends and training partners. Now you will see there is a considerable height difference between these two. He is the current European Cage Fight Champion. Current Dutch and European Cage Fight Champion. The two-time European Free Fight Champion. And the current Mix Fight Champion of the World. <laughs> putting down this small ladder there and standing on it to make sure that he can look eye to eye with the gigantic Sam Schild. Talking about psychological warfare. Of course, what the fans want to see. But once the action starts, there will be no ladder, there will be just a plain ring floor, and that's what Travel will have to use to attack Sam Schultz. Well, let's see what happens there. Sam Schultz, fighter from Pride, a man who has been in the ring with the world's best. And then Bob Schreiber, terrible Bob Schreiber. What a fight of a man is. A man who's never backed out of any fight. And look at the difference in size. Schreiber trying to come close. Don't forget that Schreiber might be like, well, I'd say 110 kilograms, but then again, the huge Sam Schild is 125 kilograms. And there, they start kneeing and punching. On the floor, of course, this is not allowed. And the ring's rules. Wow, and techniques there by Bob Schreiber. Attacking furiously. Now Sam Schild now making sure that the distance between him and Schreiber is settled. Trying to go for a Standing choke, maybe. Knees there, of course, being the most dangerous weapon by Sam Schild. Now, that could be dangerous there. That they call in the business a standing arm triangle choke. And of course, being so tall, this is great work for uh, Sam Schild to make it that way because there's no way he can escape. And the rope escape, of course. Bob Striver knew he was in a position there, he was in trouble there. And the first rope escape in this fight is a fact. Now, that was an error escape there for Bob Striver. But what a furious beginning this fight had. The way that Schreiber attacks a man who is almost twice his size. Look at the difference. Incredible. Look at the fighting frenzy and fury of Bob Schreiber. But then again, look at Tim Schild. A great technician, a man who is a very modest, but modest person. Who has already beaten the best in the world. Who is a hero in Japan. Tim Schild, the tall man. Both Dutchmen being immensely popular in their, uh, in their own countries. Knees there by Sam Schill, of course. Those are the lethal weapons 
that are used always by Sam's Club. The moment somebody, most of the opponents are smaller than he is, the moment they come close to him, he lifts his knees and they are really doing lots of damage then. But Schreiber in the attack again. Schreiber pushing him away. And look at this man going at it with a fury. Incredible. The jab there by Sam Schilt on a knee. Punches, punches. Once again, knees there by Sam Schilt. Now it's going to be very difficult and dangerous for Bob Schreiber there. He has to be careful. Sam Schilt, three times king of Pancras. The Pancras organization in Japan that is so powerful. There a headbutt by Bob Schreiber. I don't think that was allowed. Well, I don't think the referee saw this. Well... Sam Schild is used to worse things than that. Once again, a knee thrown by the 125 kilogram heavy muscle. Sam Schild, and there he goes. Down goes Bob Schreiber. What a fight this is. Incredible. Eight counts. Knee hit squarely in the face of Bob Schreiber. And he's experienced enough to take the rest of eight counts. Well, a lot of emotion here going on in and outside the ring. And once again, Sam Schild going at it, going for the kill. Problems there for Bob Schreiber. We've seen one rope escape, one down. So we have to be very, very careful indeed because this might end up now. Another standing triangle choke there by Sam Schild. And if he does not let go of the ring ropes, this will mean a rope escape. And that could mean the end of the fight. Short punches there by Bob Schreiber trying to try to rid himself of this octopus-like grip by the tall and immense and his strong and powerful Sam Schild. Well, we got rid of that one. Two of the best fighters, two of the best mixed martial artists in the world, these two. Sam Schild getting a good high hand there. Strong punches there from Bob Schreiber. Once again, he mounts an attack and a left hook there. And maybe there goes Sam Schilt. A headbutt there. Another headbutt there. That was not very fair. Another headbutt there by Bob Schreiber. And the referee shows Bob Schreiber, who's the boss in the ring. Of course, emotions can flare up high. Spinning back fist there by Bob Schreiber. What a fight this is. Incredible. Knees there by now by Sam Schilt. No. Schreiber keeps on going on the attack. Jab by Sam Schilt. What a fight. This is incredible. Two men going at it now. He has to turn his almost his back to Schreiber. Schreiber who never gives up, even though he is outmaneuvered, outweighed. And there goes the bell for the first round. What a round that was. We've seen two. One down and one rope escape for this man. But what a fight. Incredible. Just take a look at these images. The strong punching and kneeing technique by Sam Schild. The man really is a monster in the ring. Outside the ring is a very gentle giant. you must admire the incredible capacity of Bob Schreiber to take a punch or a knee. And the way he never lets up. Now that was the headbutt and the referee didn't see that. But you can also see the professionalism on the part of Sam Schild who just continues doing what he does best that is fighting. And there go the knees. Hup. Look how many of those shots hit Bob Schreiber squarely in the face. And still he's being able to stand up until this one. The last one was a bit too much. And that was the second, second down. Well, first one rope escape, one down. Now we go for round number two. And I may remind you that um, one more rope escape or down, the fight will be finished in under rings rules. The troll fighter Sam Schild from Holland against him Bob Terrible Schreiber.
I may remind you that Bob Schreiber used to, when he was younger, and he was just doing kickboxing, he was a middleweight. He was a man weighing around 75, 77 kilograms. That's it. Not more. Good right hand there by Bob Schreiber, but the retaliation of Sam Schild is immediate and devastating. Look at those knees by Sam Schild now receiving a low blow. Front kick. And once again, the guillotine choke by Sam Schild. Now there he taps out. Now that's it. That's it. End of the fight. Two rope escape, one down. And Bob Schreiber knows it. That last technique, the guillotine choke by the uh, incredible Sam Schild, was a bit too much. But what a fight this was. Look at these two gladiators. Fantastic. Bob Schreiber, a great champion. Sam Schild, the better man today. He has a guillotine choke. He can lift now his hip forward and then apply pressure to the uh, larynx. And that's it. The third rope escape. The winner in this fight is Sam Schild from Holland, who can go on to greater things. And look at these two. Two wonderful characters, two great fighters. And this is what makes this sport so beautiful. Sportmanship, but nevertheless, fierce competition. Well, this has been a great day and a great event. See here the two sportsmen showing each other's appreciation 